if you're in Pune, it's hard to miss the excitement around the Pune Metro. Now the Metro does allow bicycles on the train, so I'm excited too. I'm excited about the opportunities it opens up for cyclists, both leisure cyclists like me and for commuters. Speaking of commuting, I've brought a commuter bike here with me. This is the Avanti Gyro FM1 and we're going to take this bike on the train to see firsthand just how cycle friendly the infrastructure is. So the first question, how do you get your bike up to the platform? Well, you can use the stairs, you can use the escalator or you can use an elevator as well. So let's get up there. Make sure you press the brakes when using the escalator and be even more careful when using it to go down with your cycle. And if you're using the stairs, keep in mind how high up the platform is. This one is easy. Vanas, for instance, is much higher. You can buy a ticket at the counter, but you can also use the app to book a ticket in advance. Yes, sir. Uh, two to Vanas and back, return. Okay, return, don't Vanas. Yes. There's no extra charge for bicycles. Thank you very much. Okay, so... Okay. Okay. Since there's only one cargo gate at the exit, you can leave your bike here while you swipe in at the entrance over on the other side. But this staff member saved me some time. I will add that the staff are very well-mannered and helpful with cyclists. And this is something I experienced even on my earlier trip when I was not filming. We now take an elevator up from the concourse to the platform and as you can see, it's large enough to accommodate the cycle comfortably. There isn't a dedicated compartment for cycles and there are no cycle racks in the coaches. So I would recommend getting in at one end of the train and standing your bike out of the way. If the train isn't crowded, you can even hold your bike alongside your seat. If your cycle doesn't have a stand, now's the time to get one because just leaning your bike won't be steady enough when the train jerks to a start and you'll have to stand with it like I did. The coaches themselves are spotless, not a bit of dirt anywhere. And there are very handy info displays in several areas. You can even find a few charging points. Announcements are in Marathi, Hindi and then English. If you look out the wide windows, you get a whole new perspective on our city as you view it from this height. I really enjoyed this bit. Also, if your building is alongside a metro line, you can no longer sunbathe au naturel on your terrace. Riding the metro was a pretty awesome experience. The stations themselves are clean and well designed. It was certainly on par with the few metros I've been in across the world. I really, really hope it stays this way. Now, if your workplace isn't too close to home, you can use your bike to ride to the closest metro station, get on the train, get off and then ride to your workplace. Now you can't do that with any other type of vehicle which is why it is such a blessing that the Pune Metro has allowed bicycles on the train. For leisure cyclists like me, it allows us access to great routes that are too far away from home without wasting time and energy in Pune's chaotic traffic. For now, with only a quarter of the route currently operational, the Metro is more of a novelty. But the authorities told me they'd open stations for use as soon as they're ready. As early as next month, you should be able to travel between PCMC and Range Hills and by the end of the year, the entire 33km Phase 1 is scheduled to be operational. Now my message for cyclists in Pune is that this is awesome, so please don't take it for granted and use the facilities responsibly so that cyclists continue to be allowed on the metro. Now if you're interested in cycling in general, consider subscribing to this channel and if you're interested in cycling routes in Pune, go watch this playlist. Now until next time, ride safe.